Let's buckle up. This one is freaking awesome. We finally know who Giancarlo Esposito is going to be playing in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And it's not some random nobody or an original character. Instead, Giancarlo is playing GW Bridge, which literally stands for George Washington Bridge. And I got to say, not a character that was on my radar. However, there were people out there that actually knew this was GW Bridge. Like, take a step back and remember that we got all these set photos of Giancarlo Esposito. Remember when Atlanta filmmaking made that goofy drawing of what Giancarlo was going to look like? And we were like, dude, I don't know about that shit. And then we saw the actual set photos and we're like, damn, okay, so dude was right. I mean, he can't draw for shit. But he was right. That's what he looks like. And there has been a lot of speculation, a lot of people trying to figure out who Giancarlo Esposito actually is. Well, yesterday, uh, Scooper, my time to shine hello, basically just said that he's playing GW Bridge. And interestingly enough, when that happened, I started like researching DW GW Bridge. I'm not familiar with the character. I'm like, okay, so this looks like a character from like the old Rob Liefeld days when Rob was like in the heat of it doing X Force and all that. But other than that, I, I don't know much about the character. I believe I had a hero click of the character back in the day but i don't even remember what the flavor text was for the character so very much an obscure character to me well it turns out the day those set photos came out where we finally saw giancarlo esposito rob liefeld for maybe no reason or maybe exactly the reason to tease it out posted this just saying that he likes him some GW Bridge. And I gotta say, shout out to this guy, Ikira Press here. I saw this dude's video. I'm gonna link it in the description. Go over there and give this guy some love. When I saw this video where he was talking about how Giancarlo could be GW Bridge, this video literally had 26 views. And this guy breaks it down. He was like, hey, look, Rob Liefeld sharing this about GW Bridge when we're trying to figure out who Giancarlo Esposito is. And there was even a dude, Mike Wayne. I've seen this guy on Twitter a little bit here and there. Apparently this guy knew what was up to. So Rob's a good follow on Twitter. That's all I'm saying. He's a good follow on Twitter. I respect Rob. Love his work. Love his energy. Rob Liefeld's awesome, dude. But also maybe spoiling shit on the low. So GW Bridge. What do I think? What's going on with GW Bridge? Here's the thing, guys. I believe this is likely being done because of the reshoots, which is kind of obvious, right? Because we were talking about Giancarlo Esposito coming into the Marvel Cinematic Universe for some time. He had talked about maybe being Doctor Doom. He had talked about maybe being Professor X. And then, almost like out of nowhere, Giancarlo Esposito's like, oh, I'm in Marvel, and it's better than you could have ever imagined, and you won't guess it. Oh, and by the way, there's going to be an appearance, and then I'm doing a series. I'm doing a show. What I'm trying to say to you is this is a recent development. This guy has been in talks with Marvel for some time, and all of a sudden, Marvel's like, dude, we got the perfect character for you. You'll be in this show, or you'll be in this movie, and you'll get a show, Giancarlo. Look, look at how dope this character is, dude. GW Brand. Okay, so recent development. That, to me, speaks to the fact that this is something they planned with the reshoots. And one of the things we heard about the reshoots is that they were basically taking out the Serpent Society. And I know there's like a dozen Serpent Society fans out there that are going to be super bummed about this. But here's the reality, guys. Nobody else gives a shit about the Serpent Society. Now, according to the leaks in the original version of the movie, the Serpent Society was going to be working for Julia Dreyfus Seinfeld lady. And that team, the Serpent Society, was going to go to Tiamat Island to try to steal some of the adamantium that's there. And maybe they were going to be encountered by American troops, maybe by freaking Sam Wilson. The point is there was going to be sort of this B-level antagonist represented by the Serpent Society that was going to cause trouble for Sam Wilson and the United States government when it had to do with Tiamat Island. I strongly believe that they have axed the Serpent Society because it probably didn't test well. People were like, why do they all look like snakes? What the f***? And so now Kevin Feige's just doing six-pack or, you know, whatever he's end up doing with GW Bridge. GW Bridge has been in part of many different teams. I think most famously Six Pack. He's also somewhat involved in Weapon X, Weapon Plus, and, and that cast of characters there. There's like a long portion of comics where he is actually trying to track down Cable. He's X shield but he ends up working as a mercenary for a lot of the big comic book stories i don't think he's quite a super soldier but gw bridge is a total badass very very good at fighting with like weapons knives guns etc like dude they're probably gonna make this dude like winter soldier level of badass with all kinds of crazy action and just 
being really smart, cunning, and an absolute savage warrior. But the main point is, guys, I think they have replaced the Serpent Society with Six Pack, and that's where you get a character like GW Bridge. Oh, and GW Bridge does have a connection to Valentina, contestant, whatever the f her name is. In comics, there's a point in time where GW Bridge is putting together a team to actually go after the Punisher, and he ends up doing an all-female team. This includes characters like Domino, and it included Valentina, Contessa, whatever the f Now, as far as the MCU plans for GW Bridge, it, it's, it's hard to know, right? They could be changing the character quite a bit from what they had in the comics comic books that's that's a pretty standard marvel studios thing i also think when you get the caliber of actor as giancarlo you definitely want to utilize him in more than just some sparse unimportant thing like no nah, dude like this is a big freaking deal so i expect him to get a lot of badass stuff in captain america brave new world and then the next thing he'll do will be that series and i still think this could be something weapon x or weapon plus because the whole point of captain america brave new world is that all of the different nations of the world are setting up their own super soldier programs and they're trying to get stuff like that adamantium in tiamat island in order to bolster their own sort of stockpile of weapons and super powered people so the extension of that could be a series where giancarlo is helping all of the doctors create weapon plus weapon x something of that nature there's also this possibility that we are going in the direction of dark avengers and gw bridge could be something like a dark avengers nick fury if they go that direction to me that just feels like the two perfect directions to take this character and to do a show with right it's either something dark avengers and you're getting like a new version of shield or it's like a wet work spy kind of thriller thing with gw bridge assembling some kind of a team maybe power pack real quick six pack ends up fighting against a clone of cable called strife and they get annihilated by strife it's awesome i hope that we get that in the mcu but it's kind of too early for strife as well so i don't know but the other direction is the super soldier program something weapon x weapon plus weapon prime weapon giancarlo weapon gw bridge i don't know there's something else that they could do with the character developing super soldier maybe even developing wolverine and deadpool in the 616 i'm not sure that marvel wants to exactly go right into that but this dude is sort of involved and connected with a lot of those players, mostly Cable. Either way, this is huge. This actually is a really feel-good thing for me as a fan because I didn't give a shit about the Serpent Society, and I was like, why does Marvel keep going to these weird, obscure characters? Go with stuff that worked. Go with stuff that was awesome in the 90s that a lot of old-school comic book fans will recognize and get excited about. And GW Bridge is way cooler than a lot of other characters that Giancarlo Esposito could be playing i now understand why he got so damn excited about it because this is a really cool character that has a lot of potential and marvel's probably gonna juice up what they do with him it has me legitimately more excited for brave new world because this character is dope they're going to 90s liefeld stuff you know a lot of pouches a lot of weapons a lot of testosterone a lot of badass shit overall it's really cool that's who giancarlo esposito is playing that's what i think about it let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and as i always say i hope you are having an awesome and a nerdy day and i'll see you in the next video